Okay, so this is File Ranger Desktop. When you first get started, you're going to see Disk Statistics over here, your organized statistics in your top three categories. So after you wait a little while, your disk statistics will show up here, showing you the average age of files, the oldest file, time since your last sweep, free disk space, and size of the home folder. Remember that if you have any sort of dating errors in your computer, you're going to get oldest file errors that look really, really old. In this case, I've got a 42-year-old file. Pretty sure it's not real. Anyway, moving on, you can minimize the dashboards if you want. And let's get started arranging our files. So your first step is to catalog the files on your computer. When you click on catalog, you bring up the catalog categories window. This is where you can add remove and then inactivate and reactivate categories. These categories are going to be important because you will be using them uh, later to categorize the files that you decide to do a range on. So from here you click continue From here you click continue, select the files you want to arrange, for demonstration purposes we'll go ahead and go with the desktop, take off the backed up library, and leave the rest of this to range. When you're ready, you click the Range button. And you use the pairing code to pair with your device. Once you've entered your pairing code, you'll be returned to the main view and you can categorize your catalog on your iOS device. When you're ready to synchronize back to your computer and have your changes actually arrange documents on your computer, you can go to the Synchronize tab. It'll display a pairing code. And on your iOS device, you'll be able to find your desktop server computer and pair with it. As soon as I pair with the computer, this box will go away and it will pull the file off of my iOS device. You can see it's pulled some files. This is the Organize tab and the Organize view. In the Organize view, you can tab through the different files that you've categorized in each category. You can see here we've put files in various categories, but we've largely left most of our files in the Review category. You can do one of two things with this. With everything left in the review category, File Ranger will ignore these files and will not arrange them. However, if you see something like this preview document from Eckhart Tolle, you can change the category by double clicking and we'll go ahead and add that to good category. 
Now if you go back to the good category, you can see Eckhart Tolle's book has been added to this category. Now when you hit next and next again, you can see your delete category. You still have one more opportunity to recategorize your delete files. In this case we don't, so we'll hit continue and it will arrange our files. Once your files have been arranged, you'll be able to find them on your desktop. The folder names will match the categories that you set. If you do not like how your files have been arranged, you can hit the undo button. If you're happy with your ranging, you can go to main. If you want to let us know about your experience or if we can improve things for you, you can click the feedback button. Thank you for following this file ranger tutorial.